Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Jeter Man, and I'm back with another review. This time I have Toy World's TW-T04 Highway, and he is the last figure to be released in their Thrallabot series of figures they're doing, which also are by, um, as an added bonus, they also do combine to a combiner. Like I said, he's the last figure to be released, even though he's numbered number four in the in the series. I guess he has some delays with him in the design, and then released number five and six before him. So now he's out. So just for review purposes and everything, I'm gonna keep doing the numbering, try and get back on track with the numbering. My next review is gonna be on their side load figure number six. All right, now back to the box. He got the box. He comes in, comes in the. The traditional display box for the throttle box they had. Um, this is highway right there at the website. You got product shot on the side. Back more product shots, robot mode and vehicle mode. Product shot at the back of the figure, top of the box. On the bottom, you got your warnings and your Japanese, Chinese, whatever you want to call it. And off the phantom zone, the box goes. Inside the box, the figure. And also, with the figure, you also get. The collector's card with his tech specs on the back and get the instruction sheet. Well, these instructions are pretty decent compared to some of their other stuff or what other stuff has been coming out lately. Still have a little problem transferring those feet correctly, but I think I figured it out. And that's about it. And here is the figure or the vehicle, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, he's a nice looking car. I'm not sure what kind of car he is, but most of these figures have been modeled off of real world vehicles. So it looks nice. Um, one thing that glares out on me is just the, the side mirrors are red, apart from the figure, the vehicle being blue. And it's a nice blue. It got a little some, some little flakage going on with the plastic, which is nice. Makes the vehicle kind of like real, real shiny and pops. Real nice. They they all have been real nice with these vehicles. Got the the colored rims and whatnot. And underneath you see his little his torso and stuff. And got his vehicle, his weapon right here, which pops right off. Just held held in by this little peg right here. And you just pretty much slide in this opening right here. It's a little tiny cut. You can barely see it where the peg supposed to sit in at. And you just, just peg it on right there. Take a look at the gun real quick. It's not nothing much to it. It's just a pretty much a generic hand blaster. Yeah. He rolls well. Like the rest. All wheels touch the ground. Lots of clearance. But yeah, man. This, this looks very good. Like how this vehicle turned out. It's my all about brand that I put on it. So, yeah. Headlights, tail lights, and stuff. The gas cap on the side. But yeah. All right, let's go hang in. Oh, let's do some size comparisons before we get into transformation. Get a little bit ahead of myself. So yeah, here he is with himself. And let's bring in Eye Gears Ratchet. See how skills with a little van. I think it's in skills. Scale you know me. Here it is with TFC's first aid. Nice scale. Classic hot rod. And here he is with the rest of the guys. The rest of the guys. So yeah. Look good together. I must say, real good, real good. And here he is, just bounced up with his um kind of mold mate. They're pretty much the same skeleton. There was a little bit of molding differences between the two, transformation differences. And also, one thing's probably transformed the same about them completely is just the legs. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and go into the transformation of this guy. First, what you're gonna do is going to Grab right here, pull it, the hood down. So 
I'm gonna get that out the way. It's on a hinge, you can see at the bottom. Got that out the way. So next, what we're gonna do is want to untab the arms. Just untab them. Make sure you don't grab onto these mirrors. I heard someone say that they are removable. They come supposed to come out, but don't don't chance it. If it don't pop out on its own or something like that, don't be trying to pull up on it. So leave things well enough alone. So got both arms out. And you know, next thing you want to do is gonna pull on the back section right here. Oh, hold on, not the back section. You want to don't pull on this back section because it's on a ball joint and like pop out the ball joint. So what you're gonna do is you want to pull these legs out like so just wedge them down and you're going to accordion out just like on the trace figure and bring it down same thing other side just unpeg it from right here peg down right there and bring it up so then just accordion it, it down and you got that done. So you're gonna do is going to bring this down, this backpack portion, bring it down, and it's on a hinge. You're gonna hinge it up like so. Get out the way for right now. We're gonna work on the legs. So rotate at the crotch. Here's a crotch rotation. Bam. Next thing you're gonna do is rotate the thighs so that the silver. Just point it forward. Rotate the knees so that these black portions are on the same side of the silver painted bits. Now this thing, I know you're gonna split the feet right here. You're gonna bring this back and bring this forward. Now for the heels, what I found out is that this portion right here is supposed to be the bottom of the foot. The bottom of the heel. This is what I, I surmise of it. So bring it, rotate it, and you bring this up, and it kind of fits snug up in there and gives you a stable um, heel support. Same thing on the other side. Uh, uh, rotate. It fits up in there. All right, now you're done with the legs. Legs are done. Next, bring the arms down. Just bring these down, just get them out the way, what have you. Bring this down, get that out the way. You're gonna do this section right here, the back part. You're gonna just flip this in, like so. Next, you're gonna rotate, grab right here. You're gonna rotate this whole back section around. Next, collapse this, like so. Then you're going to bring this backpack. I don't know if you can see that or not. Bring this backpack, bring it down. And this little tab right here is going to slide into this groove on his, his back. So you bring that, slide it down. And this hinge right here is going to go in between these two black things on his back. So there. Backpack's done. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to go for the chest. Yes, the chest. Now, there's been some issues with this. Let me see up under here. This front end seems to it tab post it, it tabs in. I guess I'm I'm guessing because people their front ends keep popping off. Mine has not popped off so far. Not knocking on wood, knocking on um, plastic table, but this keeps popping off. Mine's not popped off. It's supposed to be glued in from the factory. They say. I don't know if mine is not because mine has popped off yet. So I'm guess I'm guessing this might be glued in and done. So be wary of that on your figure. Uh, first, you're going to do you're going to go ahead and tab this right here, tab these front ends right there, and bring them up a little bit, tilt them up like that. Next, what you're going to do, you're going to go on the underside, and you're going to push on these gray pieces right here. It's going to raise. The front ends the size of them up next what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the head go ahead and bring it up spread these out the way bring it up then you're gonna flip it on another hinge 
Then you're gonna bring this down and bring this down like that. And it should sit flush on the hood. Next, you're going to grab the sides that we just pushed up. You're gonna rotate, bring them forward. They're on a, uh, a hinge joint that's underneath there. And you can see that or not. But the tabs, the tab section that was tabbing them in on the hood before you engage it is going to tab in to these portions on the each side of his neck. So bring it over and should rest on it. Same thing other side, bring it forward, should rest on it. And these two front corners are going to touch together. Now you get the hood, the, the chest is done. Now you're going to bring it down. And this, when you, you're going to bring this down again, you're going to fold up this hinge right here. And it's going to push down this, this part, part right here is on a slider. It's going to go inside the, go inside the chest. So bring it down. Like so you're going to hinge it. And it should just go compress all the way down. And you should get this back hinge right here is going to go into this hinge port this, this gap right here where the, the backpack hinge was at so bam now you're gonna bring up your shoulders now they on two the hinge right here hinge right there so you're gonna bring the hinge that's on the torso itself you're gonna bring that up so it's parallel to the ground and you're gonna rotate no that's good. Just bring that up and it should rest like that. Arm is good. This is bring this is pretty much just bring them up. Simple. Just bring them up. They don't tap into anything. Just bring them up so that they are parallel with the ground. Next, the arms, you can extend the arms out. Then you take the fist. You can get in there. You gotta flip them out like that. Take the winch the window right there and flip that down which is different from how traces was i know that's a good or bad thing but it kind of differentiates them for their transformation which is good that flip out the fist and flip this down and there you have highway transforming his robot mode and he does look awesome. I do like the look of this guy. I like how the chest, the chest looks to make him different from, from Trace. It's, it's great how they did that. His colors look awesome. I like the shade of blue. Blue's my favorite color. Little shade of blue. Nice paint apps and stuff. Well placed. Um, the red paint. It all this looks nice. It's not sloppy or messy in any kind of capacity whatsoever. I can't see anything wrong with this figure at all. This thing is awesome. Oops, fix up this backpack a little. It was sitting flush before. Let me see. Mm -hmm. There we go. So yeah. Nice, nicely done. The black looks great. Like I said, the, the yeah, paint yeah. actually just I don't like is these mirrors. They do this stick out there, you know, and I mean, they don't really get in the way, but they're just out there. So, yeah, the nice silver paint and everything like that. Light piping is awesome on this guy. He doesn't have a mustache like all the other guys. He has a little sneer face. So, yeah, he was cool. And as far as articulation goes, his arm do go around 360. They're on ball joints. Can go out at the shoulder a great deal amount because he has a little this little cut right here. His little cut right here that allows him to stick his arm straight out like that, which is cool. Like that. <clears throat> rotate to the bicep. Bends at the elbow 90 degrees. Wrist do not rotate. Rotates, rotate at the crotch. They go skip his head. Head looks left and right. It's on a ball joint. Can't look up. Down a little tiny bit, but his chest is in the way. He can do the side to side bobble. Uh, like I said, crotch rotates. 
legs do go out forward. They go out to the side. You can't get the splits out of him. Yes. And he can go straight back on his legs. Rotates at the uh, upper thigh. Rotates at the knee. Do the transformation. Uh, has an ankle tilt right here. And you can adjust the heels and stuff like that too for the ankle tiltage. So yeah, he has articulated very well. You can get some great poses out of him if you want. And he does hold his weapon in his hand. Unlike my trace or some traces out there, he had to shave down the peg, getting to hold his weapon. He is kind of snug. I haven't seen any stress marks or nothing like that, but yeah. Can't hold his weapon. Weapon is held. And I kind of got the all about symbol right there, and you still can see it. It's not blocking anything, so it's just sitting kind of there, kind of deep. All right, let's get into some size comparisons. Hey, right, here he is with Classics Blue Streak, and you can see they are about the same size, um, deluxe transformer size. Here with Tor Wolves Orion. And here he is with the rest of his Thorobot buddies. Get them all in camera. We're gonna see. One through five. So yeah. They look nice together, they all scale well. Like I said, I mentioned before, these two are pretty much the same skeletal um, bodies, but they they transform different. So and they look different. And it's, it's nice that that toy world went through the the pro the problem the process of making them look a little bit more different than just generic copies. Same thing with these two right here. They um same skeletal body, but transformation has got different molds and scopes and stuff like that to it. So thank you to them. Like I was saying, this is a great figure. I like this figure, uh, especially the color of them. It's my favorite color, but um, all the paint is clean on this thing. Clean, clean and mean. And um, the transformation is very simple and easy, easy to do. Uh, I must say it's more easier than um, Traces was, especially with the um, the torso transformation and stuff. I mean, I do recommend getting this. This is a, an awesome looking figure. He doesn't have a mustache, but that's okay. Um, I still trust him. But yeah, I do recommend getting them. Um, not just for uh, the Thorobots. I've never was a Thorobot fan, but I just love the engineering of Grind Ride back in the day. And I just stuck with, this, with the set and everything. And they did a combine mode. Hey, bonus. I like to see how combine looks. So that's a little added bonus for you. And they are a little good, like standalone figures. So I'll pick yours up, your nearest retailer or e tailor. And, Tell them that Jay sent you. They probably won't give you nothing, but that's okay. All right, yeah, this has been Jeter Man. Thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews. Make sure you comment and subscribe. Feedback is always welcome. See y'all later. Peace.